In this video, I'm going to go over the canning method for the 1942 canning peaches video. Now, everybody knows if you're a canner you, and you use a hot water bath, you need to go ahead and get that started and get into the boil because it's going to take a while. That's a lot of water. So go ahead and start that process. Next step that you're going to need to get ready is having another smaller pot with some boiling or simmering hot water. This is going to be used and one of the steps to be able to remove the skins of the peaches. So get that going as well before we get starting. After that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get the uh, medium syrup uh, process starting. I doubled this recipe because I had half a bushel of peaches to process and I was putting mine in quart jars. So if you're not gonna do that, you're gonna make a different sized jar or if you just want to know a singles, you need exactly one cup of sugar and two cups of water for your peaches. That is one recipe. And this one, again, I doubled it. So you're going to bring that kind of to a boil, but not a roaring boil. Just simmer it and then stir it. Make sure all of that sugar melts away. Next, go ahead and start processing your peaches. I would cut mine in half to make sure that there was no mold inside because you cannot can moldy fruit. I wish that you could back in the day they did, but nowadays I don't recommend it. That's a personal preference for me. So I went ahead and got that. And then I got my second bowl ready for the blanching process, which is just ice water in a big bowl. So what you're going to do next to remove that skin off those peaches is you're just going to drop them ever so slightly. Try not to splash because remember that is hot water and you're gonna leave them in this hot water for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then you're gonna go ahead and remove them with a slotted spoon and put them directly into that ice water bath. They're gonna sit in that ice water bath for about probably about 30 seconds. Don't worry, blanching does not ruin any of the flavor of the peaches. It doesn't make the water or anything. It literally just loosens up the skin so that you can just easily pull that skin off with no problem. You may run into where you have some difficulty removing that skin. If you do it correctly, that skin should peel off either in one or two big chunks, or if it doesn't, go ahead and drop it back in that hot water just for another 10 to 15 seconds and then drop it back in that ice cold water. It should peel off so easily like this. Don't throw away those skins either. You can put them as well with um, the seeds and make a nice light peach jelly. Now to protect your fruit, to prevent it from going brown, I use a uh, Ball's fruit protector and that basically keeps the peaches while they're being canned and sitting on the shelf to prevent them from going brown or getting really dark and unappealing. They're still good. It's just, we all sit there and judge food based on what color it looks like. It's scientific fact there. So once you get your jars ready, make sure they are hot and sterilized keyword sterilized you need that along with your tops and your rings fill those jars up to about where you have an inch of um, head space in your jar for quarts and then after that you, you can pack them in as much as you can don't overpack if you overpack that can cause a problem but you also don't want to underpack them because you don't want your peaches to float above the uh, syrup after that, go ahead and fill that, those jars up with that hot syrup. For that, you're gonna want to definitely clean along the rim of the jar on the outside and the inside because you don't want any food particles or sugar syrup water to be in between because you will not get a good seal. Once you do that, put your hot top on and do a finger tight screw with the ring and then they're ready to go into your water bath that should be boiling. Now, when you put these in, don't crowd them. You need to make sure you have some space for the hot water bath to go all the way around the jar to help seal it. Otherwise, it may not seal. It could also siphon. Siphoning can also happen if you over tighten or if you don't wipe your rims of your jars good enough and that food particle or that little bit of sugar doesn't allow it to seal. So then you have all that syrup that comes back out in this water. Next thing you need to also make sure is that you have an inch of water over your jars. You need to make sure that your jars are covered. 
go ahead and put the top on it and then wait until it goes to a boil again. And once that boil starts happening, go ahead and start that timer for 20 minutes. Once your 20 minute timer is off, you can go ahead and turn off that water and start getting all these jars out and putting them on your counter on top of a towel so they're not disturbed for 24 hours. And uh, make sure if when you pull them out, you do not want to tilt them in any way. Tilting a little bit is okay. I have this problem because I have a microwave over my stove and I kind of had to do a little finagling, but that's okay. Everything worked out. So once you get them all on the counter, leave them alone. Don't touch them, don't dry them, don't do anything. Leave them alone for 24 hours and you may automatically hear that pop noise that we all know who are canners love to hear because that means that it's sealed correctly and it's good to go, but you can't touch them. If you touch them and you mess with the popper to make it pop or to check it before it's too soon, it can also give you a false seal, which isn't good. Now, I also wanted to bring up in this video, you also see that I have sliced peaches in a darker brownie syrup. Those are bourbon peaches. So I processed this and did this a different recipe and they are fabulous. If you would like me to show you how to process and make bourbon peaches that are fresh a year later, drop it down in the comments and let me know because I get my first order of peaches at the end of June and I would love to do this video for you.